Hey champions, Mark Shamus here. You are the hero in your own story. And it's never more true than the moral of today's story is that life is a constant, never ending war. That is the bottom line. It doesn't matter how many victories you have. It doesn't matter how easy you feel your life is at the moment. It doesn't matter if you feel you made it and you're successful. Life will continue to throw things at you. There's always new challenges. There's always going to be something that's going to come up in your life and it's going to push you to the test. It's not a matter of what happens. It's how do you handle it? It's how do you navigate through that? Maybe you feel your life is just peachy keen and you're rocking it out. But see, most people right now, life is a challenge. Life is not as simple as possibly it could have been many years ago. We have a lot of stress in our life. A lot of it is purposely orchestrated by those who have more power than you and I have. I don't want to get political. Who's going to tell you that you and I don't have a lot of controls over some of these things? Inflation, monetary policies, and political choices that are made by the country that you live in. The policies that the government officials, regardless of what local jurisdiction you're in, state, regional, and country you're in, they make choices. And it affects you, it affects me. Our life is a constant, never-ending war. And there's a war that stops, and then a new war begins. And then in your own life, choices you make. You're on the winning team now. But sometime in the future, something's going to change. It might be a tax situation, which is modified. It might be a rule of some government agency. And what was considered to be okay for what you're marketing, what you're promoting, for the way you make your money. Also now, it changes that game. Maybe the tariffs that are charged by that, you know, the company uh, and on the company that you are marketing. Maybe the company you work for, and now they have to do business differently. If you're in network marketing, home-based business, like what I've been for the last 31, almost 32 years, they're at the mercy of the regulations and the laws. And also depends on what kind of products or services they offer. But if it's health products, then there's going to be FDA type of clearance and legally trying to get products manufactured so that they're approved to send to other markets, other countries. There's always a war that doesn't stop. You win one, a new one comes up. Do you get it? I want you to be prepared for this. In your mind, the toughest, most successful warriors, they know that this is what happens. They're not mystified and baffled that there's no peace. There's no such thing as peace. Peace is an illusion. Don't get it twisted. Don't think that I'm not about peace. But peace doesn't really exist in our life. Peace is for weak people. Weak people believe that peace is what they want. That's not really what you want. You want to have some semblance of control over your life and some semblance of some reasonable balance in your life. And you want to have some ways that you can make life make sense for you. But the reality is, is that you're always going to have a war. You're going to have a battle to fight. You better have the tools and resources to fight it. And you better have the stamina, both mentally, emotionally, and energetically, physically, because you will face them. No one is going to be without a battle at some point in their life. We're not immune to that. The people that have very little battles have very little to show for their life. You want to show more for your life, you're going to have a bigger, much larger battle to face. You're going to have to choose how much significance do you want in your life. See, if you're a peon, you have no significance, there's no battle, there's no stress, there's not much of a war. Because you're okay with whatever scraps you're given. But see, for champions like me and you, if you are willing to go after a better, bigger existence, you're going to have some turmoil. You're going to have some wars to fight. And the wars will escalate. Haters are part of that. 
the people that no matter what you say, what you do, it's never enough whenever you have victories for a hater because then new haters will come out of the woodwork and they will criticize no matter how incredible the result you have is. Think about any celebrity you know and you know what I'm telling you is true because the bigger you get, the bigger amount of people that will hate on you. Part of it is jealousy and part of it is, is that they don't believe that they can achieve that. So crab in the bucket, they want to pull you down because how dare you have a result that they are now willing to go after and receive. So it's okay, but that's a war. And you got to be willing to confront that war. Know it's there. Don't ignore it. Ignoring it is not the best method. Know that it's going to be there and then figure out solutions of how to work through it. I hope you found massive value today in what we talked about. The topic is of war, that it is a never ending battle. It never stops. Jim Rohn used to talk about the battle of the mind. You have all the chatter, all the thoughts in your own mind. This is the internal battle. You also have the external battle. I talked about through most of the video today, but the internal battle, the war of the mind, that is also very real. And that will also create conflict in all that you do. Because sometimes you may be doing all the right things. And the people that you care about the most, or maybe the people that care about you the most, sometimes they're the ones that will give you the most stress over things that you don't see as being a big deal. But for them, wow, they're going to give you some, some problems or some challenges over that and create a war with you. So be prepared for these things and win, win big. I know you can do it, everyone. Have a great day. Make it happen in spite of the war. Be prepared for it. I want the winners to work with me. There's a link around the video. Love for you to make some money with me because we're making tons of it. Because we got to prepare for the war that's around us. So you need the financial resources. So you have options. That's what money gets you is options. So you can have more control over your own circumstances instead of waiting to see what happens from the external circumstances that you can't control. All right, I'll see you soon. Have a great day.